Magandang buhay mga bata! I am Teacher Mary Cornick Dow of Angeles Elementary School, your math teacher for today. In today's lesson, you will learn how to divide 2 to 3 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers. Let us start our lesson with a story problem. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, many OFWs are returning to our country. Yesterday, there are 96 OFW who returned that belong to 8 provinces. How many OFWs belong to each province? Let us divide 96 OFW by 8 provinces. How many 8s are there in 96? To answer the story problem, let us divide 96 by 8 by following the given solution. First, divide from left as a partial dividend. Given the equation 96 divided by 8, we need to start at number 9. How many 8s are there in 9? If we're going to divide 9 divided by 8, our quotient is 1. Write number 1 on top of number 9. Then, we multiply the partial quotient with the divisor and write the answer right below the digit. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Multiplying, we subtract the product from the dividend. Our product is 8. We subtract 8 to number 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. Then, we bring down the next digit, which is number 6. We bring down number 6. Our digit this time is 16. After we bring down, we repeat the previous steps, division, multiplication, and subtraction, and then bring down, until all the digits in the dividend are used up. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Then, we multiply 2 and 8 to get 16. Then, we subtract 16 minus 16 is 0. Our quotient is 12. To check if the answer is correct, we simply multiply the quotient and the divisor. If the product and the dividend are the same, then the answer is correct. 12 times 8 is 96. Therefore, there are 12 OFWs in each province. Let's try another example. Let's divide 97 by 28. How many 28 are there in 97? Very good. There are 3 28 in 97. Let's multiply 3 by 28. We can write 3 times 28 or 28 times 3. So 28 times 3 is 84. Then we subtract 84 to our dividend which is 97. 7 minus 4 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1. Our remainder is 13 because we don't have any number to bring down. So we write it this way. R, which means remainder, then we write the number, which is 13. To check, we multiply our quotient to our divisor. 28 times 3 is 84. Then we add our remainder, plus 
13. 84 plus 13 is 97. Since we have the same dividend, the answer is correct. Let's study more examples. 463 divided by 2. First, let's start with number 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we multiply 2 times 2 is 4. Then we subtract 4 minus 4 is 0. Then we bring down number 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then we multiply 3 times 2 is 6. Then we subtract 6 minus 6 is 0. Then we bring down 3. 3 divided by 2 is 1. Then we multiply 1 times 2 is 2. Then let's subtract 3 minus 2 is 1. Since we don't have any number to bring down, our remainder is 1. To check, let's multiply our quotient with our divisor. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. We have 462. Then we add our remainder. Plus 1. 462 plus 1 is 463. Since we have the same dividend and product, the answer is correct. This time, let's try 675 divided by 15. 6 divided by 15 since there is no enough number, we need to use the next digit. We now have 67. 67 divided by 15 is 4. Then we multiply 4 times 15 is 60. After multiplying, we need to subtract. 67 minus 60 is 7. Then we bring down 5. This time, we have 75. 75 divided by 15 is 5. Then we multiply 5 times 15 is 75. Then we subtract. 75 minus 75 is 0. In some cases, we divide a 2 to 3 digit numbers by 10 and 100. There are two ways to divide. First, divide the way you divide a 1 to 2 digit divisor. Or, you can cancel the same number of zeros from both divisor and dividend. Let's divide 400 by 10 using the two methods. First method, we will be using the long division. 40 divided by 10 is 4. Then we multiply 4 by 10. The product is 40. Then we subtract. 40 minus 40 is 0. Then we bring down 0. 0 divided by 10 is 0. Then we multiply 0 and 10. The product is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Or we can also use cancellation. We can cancel 0 here and 0 in your dividend. 40 divided by 1 is 40. So the quotient is 40. This time, let's try to divide 600 
by 100. 600 divided by 100 is 6. 6 times 100 is 600. Then we subtract. 600 minus 600 is 0. Let's try the other method. Since you have two zeros in your divisor and two zeros in your dividend, we can just cancel the zeros. Then we can now divide. 6 divided by 1 is 6. The quotient is 6. This time, help me to answer the following equation. 36 divided by 9 is what number? Very good! It's number 4. How about 48 divided by 8? Correct! The answer is 6. How about if we divide 496 by 4? Very good! The answer is 124. This time, let's try to divide 76 by 18. Very good. The answer is 4, remainder 4. How about if we divide 456 by 23? Very good. The answer is is 19 remainder 19 let's practice more equations and problems there are 24 rambutan and six paper bags how many rambutan will be placed in each paper bag Very good! There are 4 rambutan in each paper bag. If a box contains 144 cupcakes and will be distributed to 18 children, how many cupcakes are there for each child? Let's try to divide 144 by 18. What would be the answer? Very good! Each child will receive 8 cupcakes. How many tents are there in 120? We can use cancellation method for this problem. Let's cancel one zero and another zero. Twelve divided by one is twelve. Let's try another one. How many one hundreds are there in nine hundred? Again, we can use cancellation method to answer this problem. We can cancel two zeros in our 100s and another two zeros for 900. 9 divided by 1 is what number? Very good! The answer is 9. How many 15s are there in 120? 
Very good. There are 8 fifteenths in 120. Let's try another problem. Ashley wants to buy 800 stickers. It is sold by packs containing 10 pieces. How many packs does she need to buy? Very good! She needs to buy 80 packs. Let's try another problem. Althea and her sister collected different colors of popsicle sticks. If there are 500 pieces of popsicle sticks, how many groups of 10 and 100 can they make? Very good! There are 50 groups of 10 and 5 groups of 100. Let's try to answer our last problem. If Justin has 90 santol in his basket and sells them in a pack of 6, will there be a leftover? How many packs can he make? Very good! There will be no leftover because there are exactly 15 packs of santol In dividing a number, we need to remember the following steps or procedure. 1. Divide from left as a partial dividend. Then we multiply the partial quotient with the divisor and write the answer right below the digit. Then we subtract the product from the dividend. Next is we bring down the next digit. Then we repeat the process from division multiplication, and then subtraction until the last digit of the dividend. I hope you learned something from our lesson. Thank you again for watching.